this thing. Slightly unusual Sunday morning with the nice cars. <laughs> oh, and the horses are just about to come out. Wow. This is the moment you're happy to be here just in the nick of time. I think I might be okay to stand behind the gate. I might. Let's see. Either that or I'm going to be told to get the hell out of this space when, uh, when they come out. Let's see what happens. Might be good, might not be good. Fingers crossed. It's about two minutes to ten, give or take. Um, I'm not sure what's happening out the front there. Some sort of supercar meet, it would seem, today. Um, so at least two dozen vehicles in total. I noticed it from Trafalgar Square. I thought it might be a one-off, two or three cars, a couple of McLarens, multiple Ferraris. Some Lamborghinis, I think we call the, the tail end of it. I'm not seeing any more go by. Actually, wait, <laughs> he says, Where's Ferrari? Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what it is. I guess there's a meet in central London today. Anyway, bing bong, there it is. 10 o'clock. What does that mean? It means the first horses of the day on their way out. Toys already getting told to move the hell out of the way. What a surprise. And here they come. These are royals, of course. Look at this, the enthusiasm with this horse. I can't wait to get in the box. Even more surprising than the enthusiasm of the horse. Do not come through here, please. Is the extraordinary enthusiasm of the tourists. Look, how many people are here already? Comes the guard. Officers had to tell somebody off who was about to walk, would you believe, uh, through the box, which is utterly extraordinary, but. There's always one or two. Yeah, they're about to come through into horse guards from the street via the box. Interesting, I guess. Obviously would not have, uh, have worked out well considering the horse was coming toward them at that point. Okay, NCO, uh, who I believe from yesterday is the Lance Corporal of Horse. He will go and uh, I believe retrieve the foot guards, Chitspur and the Gatesman, I, I believe. It's been a, such a long time since I was here. Um, as things got underway on a Sunday. We'll see, but yeah, I mean, it's busy, you know. Bearing in mind, we're just, just kicking off. It's a lot of people, no? It's enthusiastic about pictures with the horse. Horses. Still hearing lots more uh, expensive cars zooming by. Hell of a lot, actually. Definitely a big rally of some sort in Central London today. If any of them get stuck at the traffic lights uh, and I can talk to them, I'll ask them what it is and where it is. Horse number one, plus happy tourists. Uh, and horse number two, plus happier tourists. My happier. For some reason, this end, of, end always ends up being the popular one, curiously. Busy. I've just understood this massive number of people in the middle. Uh, it's one group, one tour group. It has been a while since I was here this early when the horses first come out, especially on a Sunday. Never this busy, that explains it. Massive group look just vanished in one go, which is somewhat lessened the throng, but not entirely alleviated. Still lots more lovely cars as well.
college boy a little bit in the background. Let it by Amy. <laughs> okay, hurry up, you guys. Let's see how nippy the horse is going to be today or not. Get the centaurus already. Okay, I got it. Everyone's watching now, having seen how many people almost nipped, standing behind me, reluctant to go anywhere near the horse. <laughs> I haven't yet actually seen Ormond fight somebody badly. It's a slightly nippy horse, but we're not talking anywhere near uh, sort of army levels of, uh, of, of nippy spiciness yet, yeah, anyway. I mean, young horse, still plenty of time to learn. Certainly awake, not this morning. So look at the other horse. Oh, my God. 
fetching shopping bag. Love it. People are very, very wary of the horses this morning. To be fair, they're normally in the best mood when they when they come out, except for Mondays, when it's an absolute nightmare. The horses are never in a good mood on Monday mornings. I just thought somebody was about to stop. Oh, they are, in fact. Oh, goodness me. Lots of people pulling up here with, uh, with buggies and stuff. I said nobody's crazy enough to, uh, to put their kid anywhere near uh, Ormond's unguarded mouth. See, look. I think the horse's mistake is only for being French with that jumper. It does. It's not, not going to end well. Wonderful to see how many people are up this early on a Sunday. I barely am. Hence it being a surprise. Luckily no one's yet. Uh, taking the kid to try and get a picture with the horse. Like, this is the better looking of the two horses, without a doubt. However, uh, I think if somebody does, especially if they're alone, uh, I'll mention that, hey, this horse is a little bit nippy um, and to, to mind out, too risky. Look pretty bad if something happened. Okay, let's have a quick look inside and see which uh, kidsmen and gatesmen we have this morning. Um, the traffic right now primarily is flooding from the central area towards Buckingham Palace along the Mall. Why? It's Sunday. What does that mean? It means there is a guard change. Now would this fellow here possibly decide to walk in uh, and get in trouble for going beyond the gates? Anyone want me to know? 100% under the lantern there in the arch. Hey, guys, it's not um, the remnants of the guards all night party. Uh, that finished an hour ago, but for some reason, yeah, somebody left the uh, the strobe lighting on. Oh, did you said blah blah to check out one? There was also a guard supermarket here. Here's the other guard. Aha, looking resplendent as usual. Uh, thoroughly resplendent, in fact, in the arch. Glorious. Shops not open yet. Why? Because the shopkeeper overslept. I mean, it is Sunday, you know, we're all allowed to lay in. Okay, fortunately, the roaring engines have stopped because if the vehicles were coming along here constantly as they were when I first came out, the horses would not like at all that sound of uh, show offs using their phallic cars. See, look, everyone is keeping well, well clear of Ormond. They know what's happening if they get too close. I mean, actually, they don't. <laughs> They've just arrived, but we'll see. These little red uh, tour group tags they have around the necks. 
stupid look like tomatoes or whatever to the horse. Oh, tango man. I hope the horse isn't mistaken for a carrot, in fact, a human sized carrot. God's first rounds, luckily. <laughs> that would have been, if they were the other side of the bottle, that would have been uh, somewhat unfortunate. First rounds of the day, no one ever pays any attention. Why? Because they don't know. They don't know it's going to happen. But more importantly, they haven't seen it happen as it is the first rounds of the day. Tall trooper, people moving out of the way straight away with that, they need to be shouted at. Which, to be honest, is a good thing. He was uh, almost in trouble there for a second. Okay, come on, one chap, do your thing. Right, should we go and find Let's this? Um, do you want to... Should we go and find this M&M shop? Okay, so that's the guards rounds up way for 15 minutes um, until the bell rings again. Why is that a good thing? Because it means I don't have to worry about getting in the guards way myself. Standing behind the bollards uh, instead of going near the holes. Oh, 
I mean, personally, I think it's a good thing because if people are wearing, shut up, then it's obviously going to uh, going to avoid the problem of too many people crowding the horse. One goes up, they get nibbed, everyone else sees it. The rest stay away, look, even big lad. <laughs> You know, you know. <laughs> Being very careful, look at the distance. <laughs> Is that, that's, that's the horse that almost bit me in London. Let's like, come closer. Okay. <laughs> scary but it's not that scary oh, a second he's asking for a photographer's asking for a moment because they are filming this wonderful, we tried not to get uh, knocked over, this wonderful old vehicle, look at this, in front of horse guards, things you see here. Talking the traffic decided not to listen um, and hasn't stopped, but the glorious car. What's the car? Can I ask? 1929 Morris Minor. 29 Morris Minor, magnificent. Come from Zambia. From Zambia, oh wow. Good Lord, look at this. Absolutely spectacular, look at this. What a glorious vehicle. Yeah, so he won it in Zambia when he was 26. Extraordinary, really, really extraordinary. Wonderful looking vehicle. Wow. Uh, what are you going now around? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to go and see the 
We have to go and see the king. Off they go. <laughs> Love it. That is a spectacular vehicle. Tally ho, chaps. Extraordinary, really. <laughs> 